All right, Roboteers, this is Legoland's New York. Check out, they got all these brand logos. Yeah, Coca-Cola, Kodak, Coke. Volvo, Xbox 360. But what they couldn't get Sparklets. was... What they couldn't get was Beauty and the Beast. Check it out. So they called it The East. Hey, guys, we're here in the Lego uh, Master Builder Workshop to check out the Master Builders. Hi, how are you uh, doing? Doing very good. Nice to meet you. Eric, were yep. you involved in the movie? Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, we we uh, helped develop some of the Lego worlds you see in the film, like uh, the Bricksburg and Middle Zealand and the Old West, things like that. Yeah, so we uh, uh, it was very very fun working with the studios back and forth to help realize everything. Were any of the sets in the movie like actual Lego, or was it all scanned in the computer and reassembled? Uh, we got some concepts uh, handed down from uh, from the studios, and uh, we helped to realize them virtually and in real life as well. Cool, cool. Where did they have like? tiny cameras that actually did it one-on-one -on -one, or did they blow it up? Yeah, or? That's, that's, that's a bit of the, the movie magic. It, it, it's done so well you can't really tell exactly what is CGI and what is live action, but it's a mix of both. Check it out. Here's some break dancers. And look what happens when I press this button right here. Button. Okay. Push. And how does one become a master builder? The movie kind of says anyone can be, but I'm guessing you have a bit more skill than just anyone. <laughs> no, it, it really, anybody, if you work hard, hard and long enough yeah. and passionately enough, you can, uh, you can do anything. So I, I've been working with LEGO for 19 years now, so uh, uh, you know, I got a little bit of experience behind me, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, just start, uh, if, you're, if you're into it, just grab the bricks and just start practicing. But is it like karate? Is there like a test you have to go through to get the master builder certification? Like, you gotta build the Eiffel Tower. That's yeah, there's the, there's yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, there was a. I did go through a, an apprenticeship period yeah. where I would work with another yeah. master builder uh, for a number of months and, until uh, they thought I had the chops yeah. to keep on going with it. Uh, yeah. What's the coolest thing you ever did, just freehand, no instructions? Oh gosh, uh, 19 years working yeah. with Lego. Uh, you know, it, it's Sophie's choice. I can't just pick one, but uh, you know, I've built giant robots. I've built spaceships, dinosaurs. Uh, you name it, I built it. Do you remember your first set? Probably just a, a, a you know a bulk brick bucket you know just yeah. uh, just your your average bricks you know making houses with the the, the red roof pieces and things like that you know uh, that's probably the earliest uh, Lego set I remember. Another exclusive for you roboteers is the wonderful New Orleans section. As you can see, the detail of Legoland is freaking amazing. Like there's a little speed with a camera guy, and we're just gonna travel down New Orleans here. This probably took thousands and thousands of man hours, but unfortunately there's no posting on that. And you can see they have little signs which explain stuff, which I'm like, okay, cool. That's kind of cool. Educational for the kids. And like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, there is a bus. Yes, I know it was a trolley, yada, yada, yada. But look, that's kind of cool. Come on, that, that's freaking cool. Is there a particular set or area in the movie that was, that? you worked on in particular like the you know the pirate land or the wild west was there one in particular um, that you feel has see, your uh, kind of stamp on it uh middle zealand, middle uh, zealand. You, you don't see much of it in the film but if you look in, uh, look in the background you see uh, you can see what i created there and uh the octane tower as well uh i, I worked uh, pretty heavily with the uh, the folks at the studio to, to help realize that it, that the tower actually went through about six or seven different versions before we were very happy with it and now for the grand piece de resistance There we go. They are miming their music. They are miming it. <laughs> Insert music here. So LYT, what do you think? Oh, well, there's the music. Yeah, there. Delayed reaction. Huh. It's jazzy. So are you gonna show us how to build a Unikitty? Is yeah, that yeah, what we're let's doing? do it. So all we right. have our instructions right here. We have all our parts okay. laid out. So uh, we're gonna start with uh, our pink arch pieces right here. All right. Yeah, and uh, our white one by ones will go on the bottom. Those will be our paws. And we have our multicolored pieces right there. Those are our toenails. She likes to paint her toenails in all these funky uh, cloud cuckoo land colors. You guys realize how huge this character is going to be, <laughs> She's right? She's going to be big. A lot of my readers are fans of My Little Pony, so this is like... Hey, yeah. So we, we have a new piece here, a sculpted piece. That'll make up her tail. I'm going to put that aside and work on her head separately. She has a lot of expressions in the movie. Are you going? Are, are all of those going to come out? You know, like the seasick there, face and the angry face. There will be uh, many different versions of Unikitty available. We're working on her standard form right here, though, Miss Miss Happy uh, Princess Unikitty. And we have her ears. And then, last but not least, 
no unicorn kitty is complete without her horn. Is the horn a new piece? Or the horn's been around for a while, but it's a brand new color for this one. And then I just put it right there on top of her body. There you go. That is awesome. That's for you. Excellent. My wife is going to adore this. You have no <laughs> idea. Everybody will adore it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part of the movie, without spoiling? Uh, uh, I, I was laughing the entire way through it. I, I did know a bit about the story behind, uh, behind the scenes, uh, so I knew the plot line, but uh, I was uh, surprised and amazed by everything about it. And is everything awesome every day when you're like Everything is movie? awesome. Everything is awesome. <laughs>